A recognition program, whether an award, a promotion, or something else, should be an opportunity for an airman to stand out from his or her peers. Unfortunately, this distinction is not always captured by reading carefully crafted bullet statements. Face-to-face -face boards offer the advantage of meeting, interviewing, and hearing the perspective of our best and brightest before selecting a winner. In addition to evaluating a member's military image, the board will consider military bearing, communication skills, and knowledge of issues impacting the Air Force. So be prepared. Are you ready to meet the board? Have you ever heard the saying, first impressions are lasting impressions? Air Force Materiel Command has reinstated a familiar tradition of meeting military face-to-face -face boards. Airmen eligible for promotion to senior airmen below the zone and airmen competing for quarterly or annual awards are now required to meet the board. Military face-to-face -face boards will place emphasis on instilling military customs and courtesies. Additionally, face-to-face -face boards allow junior members the opportunity to improve professionalism, communication, dress and appearance, and to build confidence. One of the most important aspects in preparing for the board is supervisory involvement. Your supervisor's personal involvement is essential and begins long before you actually meet the board. Your supervisor will check your uniform's appearance well in advance of the board and again the morning of. Supervisors should have a copy of your virtual MPF awards and decorations rip to confirm the correct number of devices, ribbons, and badges. Have several people check your uniform for accuracy and proper fit. They may notice something you or your supervisor may have missed. Airmen meeting the board can expect to answer questions on a variety of topics. These include current events from local, national, international, and Air Force news sources. The Air Force portal is another good source to use for current events affecting the military. Your supervisor should work closely with you to build your confidence. It is highly recommended that you visit the room the board will be held in to familiarize yourself with the surroundings and the layout. Practice marching to that position by the most direct route and stop directly in front of the chair. Your leg nearest the chair should almost be touching the front edge of it. Practice performing a precise left or right facing movement to face where the board president will be sitting. Remain at attention and have your supervisor act as the board president to prompt you to provide a reporting statement and practice sitting down. If you have been provided a reporting statement, use that to report to the board president. Once prompted to sit down, without looking down or back, take small steps backwards until you feel the chair touch the back of your leg. At that point, sit down on the front half of your chair in the position of attention. Take a moment and adjust your service coat. Enter. Ma'am, Senior Airman Black reports as ordered. Please be seated. After you report to the board, the board president will ask you to be seated. Be sure to sit at the position of attention on the front half of the chair with your hands flat on your knees and your heels together with your toes forming a 45 degree angle. The idea is to be straight and alert, but not overly rigid. Never slouch or recline, even if the board tells you to relax and do not cross your legs. Throughout the interview, board members will be inspecting your uniform focusing on minor things such as rank, insignia, and unbuttoned pockets. Make sure your uniform is cleaned and pressed and fits properly. Ensure that stripes are sewn on correctly and the devices on your uniform are correct. Good morning, Airman Black. Welcome to the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Annual Awards Board. I'm Senior Master Sergeant Gudgel, the President of the Board. 
Before we get started, I'd like to introduce the other members of today's board. On my far right is Master Sergeant Worrell. Good morning. On my immediate right is Senior Master Sergeant Taylor. Good morning. On my left is Master Sergeant Kennedy. Good morning. On my far left is Master Sergeant Server. Good morning. I want to congratulate you on your nomination for this award. The agenda for today's board is broken into three parts. First, we'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. The second part will be direct questioning from the board members. And finally, we'll give you an opportunity for closing comments. Are you ready to get started? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. When the board president is finished with opening remarks, you will be asked to introduce yourself. A basic introduction has four parts. The first part is a brief personal description. The second part is a brief career description. The third part is about your family, hobbies, interests, and any base or community involvement you are currently participating in. And the last portion of the introduction is a brief talk about your career or personal goals. Remember, you do not want your introduction to be too long or too short. Typically, between 60 and 90 seconds is about right. Good morning. I'm senior. Be sure to address the board members by their title or with whatever salutation is appropriate. When answering questions, you want to make purposeful eye contact with each board member. Feel free to turn your neck and head to make this natural, but minimize the movement of your body. Begin and end your answer with the board member that asked you the question. Thank you, Airman Black. We'll now begin with the second portion of the board. Each board member will ask an opinion-based question. There are no wrong answers, merely give your opinion. The process is for us to get to know you a little bit better. The first board member asking a question will be Master Sergeant Worrell on my right. Congratulations on your selection, Senior Man Black. My question for you is about the base Honor Guard mission. The Honor Guard is a very important part of our Air Force. Do you feel it's appropriate to staff the program with a mandatory quota similar to a detail or fill the requirements with a fully voluntary force? Sir, Do not mumble or begin your reply with a verbalized pause like um or uh. This indicates indecisiveness. You want to articulate your answer with confidence. It is worth emphasizing maintaining strong eye contact with the board members is very important. Good morning, Senior Airman Black. Please explain what portion of the Air Force symbol is most meaningful to you and support your decision. Sir, a good technique to stay on track is to restate the question at the beginning of your answer. Do your best not to show nervousness and listen very carefully to questions being asked of you. Never say I'm sorry. Congratulations again, Senior Airman Black. AFSO 21 is the Air Force's model for improving processes to create leaner and more efficient operations. First, why are efficient operations important? And secondly, please describe a process improvement that you have personally helped build or implement. Ma'am, will you please repeat the question? AFSO 21 is the Air Force's If you do model not know an answer, simply state that you do not know it and you will get back to a board member with the answer. If you do not understand the question, ask them to repeat it or clarify. Do not lose your bearing or become frustrated because you did not answer the question as well as you would like. Never try to fake an answer. Senior Airman Black, if you were a command chief for a day, what would you do? Sir, if I were command chief for a day, I would use my wealth of knowledge to promote my airmen. The listed force structure defines chiefs as key mentors that develop subordinates. A chief's greatest ability is to promote the growth of airmen in his or her unit. Through years of experience, a chief accumulates more knowledge than any other enlisted member. During my day, I would take the time to get involved with my airmen to understand their goals. Using these skills, I would give the airmen the choices and tools needed to become successful leaders. Airman Black, I'll be asking the final question. According to Air Force pamphlet 362241, the Professional Development Guide, it states that we must actively support the Air Force's policy on zero tolerance for discrimination and sexual harassment. 
How do you feel the Air Force would be affected if this policy was not upheld? Ma'am, I feel that as a person and an airman, it is my responsibility to support a zero tolerance work environment against sexual harassment and discrimination in all environments. These two issues may be the most damaging and difficult problems facing our modern society and military. We have an obligation to protect our airmen, coworker, friends and families from these types of abuses. When we fail to uphold a zero tolerance environment, we lose our mission capabilities. Our airmen and their safety must come first because our mission cannot be successful without proper airman readiness. We must make every effort to promote a positive, healthy work environment that is inclusive and safe to all people. This concludes the second portion of the board. Before you're dismissed, we'd like to give you an opportunity to readdress any questions and make closing comments. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to readdress the AFSO 21 question. Ma'am. At the end of the board, the board AFSO president will ask you if you have any comments. This is where you can readdress a question that you previously did not answer. This time also provides the opportunity to thank the board members for their time and provide any other comments you wish to add. Time and money over the next year. Finally, I would like to thank all of you for taking time out of your day and giving me the opportunity to meet this board. Thank you. Thank you, Erman Black. On behalf of the board, we'd like to extend our congratulations to you. You are dismissed. Come to the position of attention in front of the board president. If the president is an officer, render a hand salute and hold the salute until it has been returned. If the president is an enlisted member, ensure you have eye contact and nod your head once and wait until the gesture is returned before performing a facing movement and departing the room. Remember, the board interview is not over until you have departed the room. You've heard the saying, first impressions are lasting impressions. Remember, the board wants to know you. You must believe that you are worthy of the award and are a winner because someone else believes in you. And now, you are ready to meet the board. Thank you.